people, welcome. Today we'll be reviewing a Chinese drama known as Win the Future. It has 45 episodes and is a romantic drama in an office setting. You know, contains business and all of that. If you're just joining me for the first time, my name is Chacha Wabara. Let's take a look at the highlights of the drama. Now, Win the Future is a drama where you have to be really vested in it to understand it. The two men leads were really amazing. It had actors and actresses like Chen Kun, Zing Zile, Ba Won Jin, Zhang Yo Hao. I hope I have it right, yeah. Like I said, it has 45 episodes and has to do with these top um, sales experts in their different companies trying to gobble up each other and in the middle of it, they fell in love. Tech industry is such that it is really competitive and other normal circumstances, they are not supposed to date competing um, firms. You're not supposed to date someone in the next competing firm. You're rival but they started dating on that G now this guy he was the sales god in the north and she is the sales god in the west or so and he got transferred from the north area office to the main head office to take over not really to take over to revive the company per se because the company was having problems you know trying to make ends meet with their main competition okay and their rival company was hell-bent on bringing them down if I bring them down and buying them off you know taking over their company so these two people you know met each other and fell for each other along the way but then they were conflicting interests and so many things went wrong you know there were people that were working against them and there were betrayal deceit and a lot of not really action but it was intriguing and you find love in inside this intrigue and suspense which made it all the more interesting for me but if a slow moving drama is not your thing or of this office serious talk of takeover measures and acquisitions sales and all of that is not your thing and i think you may find it a tad bit boring but other than that i found it interesting yeah but for me it was long but pray tell when the main lead was you know all up in his business about cloud we both know what cloud is cloud storage and all of that they did not you know adequately explain what happened in the end was it a success for him or a failure or was he still trying to make people understand what it was they just ended that part like that meanwhile how was the female lead exonerated because her boss was now sent to jail and all that even though they implicated her and all but how was she exonerated to you know for people to know that actually she was innocent how were both of them, the male lead and the female lead, how were they rescued from that, you know, flooding that they were in at some point? All those things we did not see. What we just saw, final episodes, were just them going on a trip and she was raising up her finger that they had gotten married and all of that. We did not just make adequate sense to me. Meanwhile, why was her husband telling her that, that her ex had an accident when she should have been privy to it? Uh, everything, he was just telling her everything. Like, he was the one concluding the movie for everyone and it did not just make sense to me and i was like whoa after such a beautiful start and you know you people carry the audience along where they carried me along anyway but you know by getting to the conclusion of the drama and nothing to write home about i was so pissed and i was disappointed i wasn't happy at all but all in all, it was a good watch because I had fun watching it. It had substance. The men, male lead and the female lead, they really gave it their all. You know, I like dramas that make you exercise your brain. And they really did that in this drama. You should watch it in the future. It premiered on the 21st of December 2021 and ended on... I think the 15th or 18th of January 2022. So yeah, it's recent. So you can look it up, win the future, go watch it. You would enjoy it a lot. Which brings me to the end of this movie review. I'll be rating it a 6 over 10. Yeah, yeah. I hope I see you next time. Up there you'll see my Korean movie reviews, my Chinese movie reviews, my Nigerian movie reviews, and then again my movie reviews. If you haven't subscribed, don't, don't forget to hit on the subscribe button. Turn up your post notifications to be alerted when new videos come up. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.